Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing my simple gas catcher which allows you to capture gas which then can be used in other farms. This gas catcher is designed so you can build it up quickly, yet it gives you efficient rates so that you can get the gas that you need so that you can continue on into your next project. Whenever I build projects that use gas, I need a gas catcher, and this is the type of gas catcher that I use. I have a 1.9 and above version here, and I also have the 1.8 version over here. The way that this gas catcher works is that there's a spawning floor here. This spawning floor will allow the gas to spawn, as well as pigmen, and even lava slimes, and even endermen in 1.10 and above. To get the gas off the, the spawning floor, we have this gap here, and then we, on this side we have a minecart. And this minecart is going on this track here, and it's going around the edge of the spawning floor. Now the gas will be able to get um, eventually pathfind or else get pushed by other mobs so that they are close to the edge and eventually they will bump up against these cobble walls here and then the minecart will come along and it will pick them up if they're actually up against the edge now because of changes from the way uh, mobs get picked up by minecarts the best way to pick up mobs as I've shown in the past is to pick up mobs when there's a curve rail so when there's a curve rail the mobs can actually get picked up a lot easier than if you just try to put them on a straight rail so that's why this curve rail is on the edges here. Now if it was a straight rail, the gas could actually stop the minecart and they would not get picked up. The cobble walls prevent the gas from getting too far onto the rail, which could cause the gas to actually stop the minecart when it moves through. And the walls are actually preventing um, lava slimes from jumping over onto their side. So it's tall enough so that a large lava slime cannot jump and then land over here on this part type of the rail. And then over here they could actually stop the minecart as well, so we don't want that to happen. This gap between the spawning floors and the rails just prevents um, most other sized lava slimes from getting onto this system over here. So small um, lava slimes as well as medium sized ones will jump and just fall down. The large ones will jump and fall down and rarely a large one will get picked up by the minecart but it can happen. To remove the pigmen from the spawning area so that more mobs can spawn in, including gas, we have the pigmen can either track to either side of the spawning floors. So here they can track across these Tra open trap doors here and they will come up here and they will be able to actually track across all this area here as well as track up above here and above all this system here and even on top of here so they see this as all places where they can go to so after a while they will just eventually start walking off the edge and there's one on both sides so that the um, zombie pigmen can actually leave the area and then we can get new gas spawns allowing the pigmen to just pathfind to the edge and just fall off is simpler than having a aggro system which you aggro the pigmen to make them run off the edge. This allows you to be able to not worry about if the pigmen go unaggro towards the player. The cobble walls above the spawning floors is just to prevent gas from flying straight up into the void up here and escaping the farm. And there are slabs above the rails here just to prevent um, of gas as well as slimes from jumping onto the rail or escaping. And the rails are actually spawn proof in 1.9 and above versions but in 1.8 you'll want to make sure that the rails are covered. Once the gas has got pushed over to the edge, the path finds the edge, the minecart will come along and pick up the gas and it'll reach the end and then it'll bounce off and it'll travel back towards this direction. Once it gets to here there is a pressure plate which allows the gas to turn this rail here which allows the gas to go up here and go towards this tubes and these tubes here are where we collect the gas. In these tubes it's just a um, kind of like an area where there's a block on all sides of them and they just funnel down and their minecarts just stack down on top of each other. They either um, the minecarts stack on top of each other or else they eventually start stacking on top of the hitboxes of the mob. But you don't have to worry about the gas getting like all jittery like this or getting too close to each other because we can sort them out later. At the same time that the gas comes and hits this pressure plate and turns this curve rail, it will also activate this dispenser which will just dispense out a new minecart to replace the old one. And then there's just a hopper and then just more storage for more minecarts. If a large lava slime happens to be picked up by the minecart and gets um, traveled along and comes to the end here, if it's just a straight rail, the lava slimes are notorious for just sitting there and not bouncing off of it like they would if they were gas. So that's where there's an incline rail here so that the lava slime will bump up against it and then start rolling back down again and then go over and get collected with all the other gas. Once one tube has filled up with gas, the gas will push down on this pressure plate here, which goes into a torch, goes into another redstone torch, which goes into this curve rail here, which will turn it so that the new gas will go down this system and then go into the next tube. And this will continue as many um, tubes as you have. Right here, I have about five tubes, which allows you to get um, probably more gas than you'll ever need. In the SMP world that I built, I only made two tubes, and that seemed to work really good. 
way that I prevent the gas from shooting at you when you're in survival and working around here is that even if the gas gets stuck on these rails or if they're in actually in the tubes and they just fill up all the way to the top I have these couple walls here which will block the um, gas view so they can't actually see the player when he's moving around here but you still gotta be wary about gas there on the spawning floors the player will be AFK in this minecart here and he will just be riding this rail back and forth this will allow the mobs to spawn when the player is back there so that it can get more spawns on the spawning pad and then when the player moves forward, this will allow the mobs to be able to move about so that they can eventually walk off the edge or else get picked up by the minecart. This cobble wall here, which is above the player when he's inside of the minecart, will just be inside of the player's head. So therefore, any gas that spawn on the spawning floors will not be able to see the player and shoot at him. And any magma cubes on the spawning floor won't be able to pass fine to the player. The gas holding cells are right beside where the player will be AFKing. This is so that the gas, even the ones way down the corner, will still be close enough to the player, even if the player is over here, so that they will not be able to despawn. Since during this part, the gas will not be name tagged, and then only afterwards will you name tag them. There is a lever here which will allow you to actually flip the switch, so that even if you're in survival, you can shut off the minecart and get out of it safely without being over top of the void, and having potential of falling into the void. And once you're ready to name tag them, just come down here, and there's a little walkway, which you can use to get over to the gas and then to name them you just want to come down and try to get lo down low in 1.9 um, you try to get as low as possible like underneath the gas and stuff to name them and then you click on them and then um, just click on your stack to make sure to see if you didn't just waste a name tag or you actually did use it so now I actually got nine name tags now I'm to eight so this stick gas actually got named now once you have a named and you're ready to drop it down there is a button here which allows you to drop down the gas and then there's a rail system there so once you push the button you can drop the gas down and you just try to stay hidden you don't want the gas to try to shoot fireballs at you when it's falling down the way I have it so I can let one gas out at a time is that I have a piston here that is attached to a bottom slab and on top of that is all the minecarts even if there's multiple minecarts that have gas on top of each other it'll only let one at a time this is because when the piston extends the minecart will be inside the piston arm which will allow the minecart to continue falling where the next piston or the next minecart here will still be above the piston arm so it will be sitting there waiting for the next time when you um, allow it to fall down and you can just continue this and allow one minecart and um, gas to fall through at a time when you come back from AFKing overnight or so you'll probably see something like this where your tubes have filled up with gas and there'll just be tons of gas in there. Then they'll fill up so much that they'll actually backtrack on the rail back here and they'll come all the way along and then they'll eventually get stuck behind this cobble wall here. And then you may even see a gas um, on the actual rail system here, the collection rail system. He'll just be moving back and forth. As well, you'll probably still have gas on the spawning floors. This is what it um, looked like after I came back from AFKing for overnight. And then you'll probably just want to come along, you know, shut off your rail, get out of your minecart, and then if you move to the side, see there's this wall here that just prevents um, the gas on the spawning floors from seeing you and try to shoot you. And from over here the gas that are over here can't see you because they have the couple walls inside of them. So it's pretty safe once you come from A of King. Then what you want to do is just um, kill these gas off that are not you know in the system with, just with your bow. And Then you can come along and use these gas. Once you're ready to transfer the gas you can just have them drop down and then have some power rails which can take them off into wherever you want to take them. You can even store the gas on top of the nether until you need them. But if you're trying to take the gas down below the nether ceiling, you can break a hole using drag eggs, which I've shown before, and there will be a link in the description. Now, when you do drop the gas down through the nether or through the bedrock, you will want to make sure that there is not um, a lot of nether rack on the sides. So you want to go out and make sure it's big enough so that the gas does not suffocate. It will take some damage going through the bedrock, which you can break if you're really determined not to let your gas die. If you want to take the gas into the overworld, you just need to build another portal and then have the gas go over a activator rail so it sends it into the portal and then you just need to pick the gas back up in the overworld. If you really want to pick up the loots that come from the pigmen and endermen that just fall off the edge, you can just set up a small hopper system with a chest. Now if you use buttons on top of hoppers, the buttons will prevent any mobs from spawning on top of here. So this one over here is the 1.8 version which is about the same as the 1.9 version but a few things are different. One is that the rail that picks up the gas is much higher so they don't really have to worry about too many magma cubes jumping onto it. But also everything is spawn proofed with um, blocks above all the rails and also you cannot place blocks in the 255 wide level in, one, in some versions of 1.8 unless you push them up with pistons. So I just kept it low just so it makes it easier to build. Another thing is when you come to name tag them, um, players don't have 
the pushingness of the mobs as they do in 1.9 and above, so you can get in there pretty easily and name tag them, which is a lot more difficult in 1.9 and above. Also, the distance between the spawning floors and the rail that picks up the gas is shorter, just because you don't have to worry about medium or tiny lava slimes from jumping onto this rail, unlike the 1.9 version. You could have a tiny lava slime spawn here, but lava slimes spawn so rarely that you probably won't have to worry about that. There is a world download of this world, so you can check out the both builds, the 1.9 and above version, as well as the 1.8 version if you want to build them in your very own worlds. So there you have it guys, a simple gas catcher that allows you to acquire the gas that you need for your other farms. If you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you'd like to see more useful contraptions for survival, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Bye bye